and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you five different flipbook ideas. Um, now I'm going to be creating these flipbooks for my Patreons and it's for all the Patreons that have actually signed up to my snail mail tier. Now on Patreon I'm sending out snail mail packages monthly so if you want to go check out that tier I'll have the link in the description box below and I'm also going to be sending out to one of the earliest Patreons that actually signed up. So I'm always going to be doing little gifts to people who have signed up early for different things as well. Um, so that person doesn't actually know a snail mail package is coming their way, um, but I hope they get a big surprise when it arrives. I always ask all my Patreons um, if like, what type of style or theme they want. Um, so a lot of people did say botanical vintage. I'm also going to be doing a pastel-y one focusing on the blues, blue color and I'm also going to be doing one that's quite bright and vibrant but before we get into the five flipbook ideas I just want to quickly show you what I've got in front of me here so I actually did a collaboration with In Love Arts and the URL is inloveartshop.com. I'll have that link in the description box below but basically they sell lots of craft goods on their website before we start the video, let me quickly show you the products that I'm going to be using throughout the video from In Love Arts, and I'll also have their link in the description box below. So I chose a whole bunch of stamps because I really liked the options on this website. I actually had so many in my cart that I had to start getting rid of some of them just because my budget was way too big. But the first ones I chose was this um, like teacup set and I really liked it because I actually send out a lot of tea in my snail mail packages so I thought it'd be perfect to decorate the envelopes with. Um, let me just show you a close up. So the next two are snail mail and travel theme stamps. I absolutely love this one because it's so simplistic. And then this one has a few travel references as well. But also these ones that actually look like postage stamps. I really, really like these ones. I'm going to be making a lot of mail art with these. Next are these leaves and mushrooms. And I really like these ones because I do do a lot of botanical themed snail mail and I adore mushrooms and I like these designs a lot. And the last ones are just this back to school um, stamp collection just because I liked the backpack, the book and the scissors. Um, not so much the words, but I thought if I ever do things that are relating to back to school, then it might be a nice stamp set to have. So those are all the stamps that I got and I'm really, really happy with them. I can't wait to use them. So I did get all of this for free, but I got to choose everything I wanted. And I've been wanting dried flowers for a long time, um, dried flower stickers, sorry. And I just thought these were beautiful and they were the exact style that I was looking for. I'm pretty sure that you can, I, I think I've seen these on AliExpress, um, but um, they also have them in this shop. The, all the products are quite cheap as well. But how beautiful are these? I'm definitely going to be including these in my snail mail packages to my patrons that have signed up to my snail mail tier. So I couldn't exactly remember what was inside of this one. So I'm really keen to see the designs. Um, and I really like the envelope. It's like a vellum style envelope as well. So what have we got here? So I think this is just a whole bunch of pretty papers. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, and it feels like handmade paper. It's, it's got a really nice rough texture. <gasps> I'm definitely using this in my snail mail designs today. In my vintage and botanical themes. How beautiful is that one? Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, I'm definitely gonna be using these ones today. I might actually create one flipbook to be squared so that I can use these perfectly in the middle of the square. Alrighty, okay, well let's get started. Oh, sorry, actually, there's one more. This one here, as you can see, I really went with this mushroom nature theme, didn't I, today? <laughs> All right, let's see what's inside. So it was open when I received it, but you're actually supposed to fold it into this book, um, this little garden book, and then there's a little flap here to clip it together. And then when you open up, you can flip through. So we've got, the stickers on that side and then I'm pretty sure these are stickers too and then there's extra pages to add in 
So let me show you the designs on the back. So these are all the sticker designs that are inside. So I'm going to be using this today. You'll be able to see each of the sticker sets. So let's get started on the video. Alrighty, so let's start with the botanical theme flip book just because I've got all of the products out and then we'll get into the next one. So I'm going to have music playing for the rest of the video and I'll have all the links in the description box below. So let's get started.
child I know You hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt It's not fair. You did your time. 